Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another tutorial video on my channel. We're gonna do this really fun floral design today, but mostly I wanna focus on some Swarovski crystal placements. So I wanna give you guys four different Swarovski crystal placement ideas in this video, combined with a tutorial as well. So let's jump in and get started. To begin this nail design, we're gonna take the Devil Wears Guava from White Elegance's Summer Collection. It's this really nice kind of pearl rosy toned color. And I really want this tone to kind of be the focus of the nail design. So I wanna make sure that I'm incorporating florals that are gonna sort of match it or at least kind of coordinate with it. So with these pearly type of shades, I like to put a layer down on the nail. And then after I've cured it, I like to go in with a super, super thin coat and just kind of paint it on because I personally don't love the look of these pearled ones being swirled. I know a lot of people really like to do that kind of swirl look with pearl gels and it can look really fantastic. They're great for marbling with that type of look. But if all I'm going to do is have the color as the base, I like it to look like it's an even application instead of the swirly look. Nova from the Beamy Metal Leafs Luna collection that just recently launched is a fantastic light pink foil leaf gel. And I knew I wanted to do this as kind of an accent glitter type of nail to this design. So I decided to put this all over the pinky nail as well as the thumbnail. You guys know that I love to make those match. And I thought this would be a great color to kind of coordinate with the rest of the rosy pink tones we were going for in this nail design. Light Elegance's Strawberries and Cream is a great light pink pearl gel. Again, we're using some of that pearl type of finish. I thought this would be a great background for the stamping that I'm going to do. And this way I can try and stamp florals that match that guava color on the rest of the nails. After those have all cured, I'm going to go in with my Fusion SL Clear and I'm going to embed all of these products. So the Beamy Leaf Gels can be embedded or applied on top of a finished file nail, which you guys are actually going to see me do the sandwich technique in this nail design. After my finish file is complete, I'm going to go in with my stamping. So I'm gonna take this little sponge that's soaked in acetone. I'm also gonna take my stamping pad and just have them sitting there ready to go. I decided to use the Clear Deli Stamper Sketched Garden Plate today, as well as Sweet Baby Rose Polish. This one here, which is number 75, a hands down favorite of mine, and number 87 as well. I have a video up talking about my favorite floral stamping plates and this one is in it. This one is a super versatile plate because the outlines are really thick, but you can also do the layered stamping with it, um, obviously because it's clear jelly. And I really wanted to do that for this nail design as well. So I'm gonna take some of the 75, then I'm gonna outline it in the Sweet Baby Rose. And I thought this would be a good color combination to tie in the BB, Beamy Nova with the rest of the nail design. And then for the greenery that's on this plate, which is another reason why I love this plate is because there's some fantastic greenery. I'm just going to stamp it in number 87 kind of off centered so it looks like the leaves are kind of floating around it. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the pointer on her other finger and I just decided to use one of the larger flowers and just have that be the focus for this design instead of doing a couple of the smaller ones but on this particular plate there are smaller and larger images so you could do either or when you're designing a floral set like this one. The Swarovski crystals we're gonna to use today are light rose, vintage rose, and then I've got kind of a mix of three different types of golds, but I'm mostly going to use the rose gold and light Colorado topaz for this design. I recently got in this new Beamy Crystal Picker Upper tool, and this is their 2.0, this is their newer one. And I like both of them. The Beamy ones are definitely one of my go-to crystal picker uppers, but this one is nice because the handle is a little bit smaller on it, so it's easier to kind of flip it around from each of the different sides that you're using. And this one is also all rose gold, whereas the last one that they launched had uh, like a white to it, so it got kind of dirty faster. So I much prefer this one. 
You can also get a lot of these gold, silver, or rose gold embellishments from Mimi too. And this kind of circle one is one of my favorites. And the Swarovski crystal size that fits perfectly in it is an SS12. I actually didn't have any SS12s for um, the pinks that I wanted to use. So I'm using a nine and it still works. You can just, it doesn't fit perfectly, I guess. So you guys know this is one of my go-to patterns for Swarovski crystals. I love putting crystals just all around the cuticle and I like to use different sizes, but but mostly depending on the nail shape I like to stick with a size 9 and then go down to a size 7 which is what I'm doing here with the different shades of pink so that's all there is to this particular design another go-to of mine is to do a really large Swarovski crystal in the center or in this case I'm going to use some of these rose gold embellishments instead um, they equal to about a SS20 depending on if you're going to do the embellishment or a large crystal and I decided to go in with the vintage rose in the center instead of the pink one for this particular design and then I'm just going to take some other crystals heading down the nail and up the nail and these ones are in SS9s as well and then eventually I'm going to fade into an SS7 for the different sizes too and when I'm applying my crystals you guys can see I just take a micro saw with a little bit of glue and I just drop it on the nail and then put the crystal on top and just let it air dry and the glue just holds so well when you do this technique my next crystal design is just in the corner of the nail, another go-to of mine, and I like to use a larger Swarovski crystal in the center for this one. So we're taking an SS20, and then I'm gonna go in with some SS9s and kind of surround it, and again, eventually fade into SS7. So if you're gonna pick up some Swarovski crystals, I love using SS20s, but they can be a little bit intimidating. So I would say get 12, nines, sevens, and maybe some fives. I do have some threes in my collection, but I find them to be so tiny that I don't reach for them very often. And when I do Swarovski crystals on people, I want them to stand out. So I much prefer doing like bigger clusters like this particular one. But these are definitely kind of my go-tos. And when I'm picking colors for them, I like to use colors that are going to match the nail design that I'm doing. But if you don't want to bring in a whole bunch of colors, just stick with your clears and your crystal ABs. Those work really well too. The last crystal design, I'm going to take a big SS20 instead of using the embellishments. And I'm going to set it up very similar to what we did with the first design and just kind of surround the cuticle but eventually I'm going to take a couple more crystals in the center SS9s and I'm just going to make it look like they fade to a point in the nail and I love doing this particular cluster on almond or like pointy shaped nails I just think it looks so great and it almost looks like jewelry on the nails another option is you instead of going straight down the nail with crystals you could just randomly place them at this step here and it would almost look like the crystals are cascading or kind of falling down another great idea to do with Swarovski crystals. With the Beamy leaf gels, I tend to do a sandwich technique. So I will embed one layer and then after my finish file and clear coat, I will go in with a super thin layer on top. And I find what this does is it almost makes it look like the leaf gels are kind of floating on top of each other. So you can see a little bit of the base kind of poking through and you can see a little bit of the top. I just love doing this effect for it. Not necessary, but this is just how I like to use them. My last step is just to top gloss this nail design. So when I am top gloss around Swarovski crystals I like to take just a smaller brush and surround the back by the cuticle and this way you're not getting any of that top gloss on the Swarovski crystals which will dull them thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video I hope it gave you an idea of what my go-to Swarovski crystal patterns are and maybe a different way to kind of combine some different colors in a floral design make sure you're following me on all my social media and I'll see you guys in the next video bye